Okay. Many checkpoints though, so I don't see a cut. I can already see that. Say that. I can actually see Obviously the entire map from Canvas 7. Also don't see a cut. Yeah. I can actually see the entire map in Canvas 7. Kinda. Yeah. I see Hagen now, so maybe there's a cut. Oh, there's no cut. Very unlikely that there's a cut. <clears throat> I need to win? Yeah, I'm trying. But if it's just like a XCD plastic map, then. I don't know. We'll see though. <laughs> Nein, what is that gear? Oh hell nah, little bro. What the fuck was that? I hope I drove that wrong. Because if that's the first gear on your map, then... Then dick. Okay, that's gonna be a very easy map. And plastic is at least a little bit more unique than grass. What? Okay, that is a weird map. What? What are these bumps? There's like bumps everywhere here. Yeah. What the hell is I this? I cannot even see. Why, why do I have airtime? What gives me airtime? Huh? That is might be a very yak map to be honest. But let's see. Like, what is that first gear? Mr. Mapper. How do you not notice that while driving? Like, that gear is horrible. What the fuck? That's crazy. Ah, uh, here, that's the reason why I bumped. I cannot see that. I could maybe from the shadow, but far. That is crazy. Okay, this could be a very, very XD map. Holy moly. Okay, you can get the gear, but like... Yeah, it's very awkward. You have to wait very long with uh, the steering. Not a fan of that. Oh my god, okay, this map is sadly not good, so like... There's at least two Gyrdons that you can get already. Yeah, what, what, what is this bump here? Like... Oh my god, like, what is this? Why? Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> I also like, you cannot look see in camera that. Seven. Yeah, like, why don't you use the same blocks here again? This would have been, like, so... Hä? What the fuck? Okay, this, this, like, this, uh, this mapper is definitely not a good driver, I can already say you that. I will confirm with the GPS. Okay. So you get the first gear pretty clean. Okay, uh, you can get it, but you need to wait awkwardly long, to be honest. The thing is, if you build such a simple map, the only thing that you can really do wrong is like either super unflowy turns or like, you know, gear downs. But this kind of has both. A little bit. <laughs> GPS, oops, airtime. <laughs> we had a bad line in one transition. So this ending is a cheap. Is... Holy moly. Like, uh, uh, uh. But if you go inside the first uh, hole, you get a challenge race. You drive against a ghost. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Guys, it's literally worth to go a little bit wider at the start to get the gear a little bit earlier down so that you don't have to fully oversteer the turn after.
Oh, you can get fifth gear. And then this year, like, is, 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 what is the... What is the line that I'm supposed to get? Like, I don't want to be mean to new mappers, but this map really is not that good. Not gonna lie. Like if you're not a good driver yourself, I can only recommend to give it like to, to people who are good drivers to check stuff like this. Like if you're really not good enough to like see that the gear in the first turn is like awkward for example, like just ask people to test it. There's like mapper discords for that. I guess the thing with the gear, like I noticed that first try. And also the thing with the um, transition, which you don't see. Like just have more advanced players, oh, mappers, have an eye. And also like what is supposed to happen here? Like. Like this map, I for real don't get why it's track of today. It looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is it only track of today because it's using the new uh, lime colors from platform? Back to Kaki. Nah, nah. I'm gonna play, of course. Because there's nothing against the mapper, like, not everybody can be a great mapper, obviously. But then, uh, like, why, why, is this, why, why is this picked? Did you not tell me this is, like, an actual, like, as a... I don't know if I sound too, <laughs> too, too, too mean, but... I don't know, man. Like, a lot of things... Are no, not, not at all. <laughs> And I'm not crying because I, I'm not good on the map, like, I can easily get the one here, no problem, but... I don't know. That's a lot in the end. At least I hope the mapper can maybe get some feedback then. Like, from the things we mentioned, like, watch out for the gears, this one transition is yik. Here you can be too fast as well to shift into fourth. Maybe you can at least improve. I mean, Do I you can think you can skip the part. reactor reset? Yeah. Yeah, you probably know us here. So. <laughs> yeah, like he asked it like earlier, but I, uh, <laughs> I, I kind of thought no. <laughs> but maybe let's try. This one here? How would you skip that? So I guess with the ramp next to it. This turn is also too tight for the gear that you have. Makes it very awkward. Point nine by Elcon. I guess this gear is fine actually for good players because you can shift into fifth quite easily. But then you have to downshift again and it's awkward again, so. Uh. Also, what the hell, man? Actually, I'm not sure if I can get the one. 
Don't know where to improve. Is it better to go like this? I don't get it, I'm slow. I am feeling okay, yeah, with playing Kaki. Okay, I got a 24 save, but as a water map, eh? There is gear issues everywhere. Oh, holy moly. Thank you, Huntdown. Uh, yes, I always was anti kaki But I wanted to try it out. And so far, I still have fun. It depends on the maps for me. Like, some maps are just brain dead and yak, and some others are really fun, actually. How many finishes do you have? Uh, 19. What is uh, the deal? Uh, 48. But it's also crazy. Like some people are literally playing like 10 hours a day, every day. But I had minus point three. What the fuck? Okay, actually I can cook. And yeah, maps are also easier this season. That's true. Like that's also a reason why I'm playing. <laughs> it wouldn't even need much fixes to make this map a lot better, to be honest. Like, if players a little bit more speed in the start, you get rid of the gear change. Stuff like that. Also, to fix that one transition, not hard. This tense that I lost in my PB, that is crucial. I dropped to third. What, drop to third? Yeah, and there's uphill right. Sometimes I'm dropping to third, and then it's really bad. Oh, the uphill right is, by the way, inside. I don't know if you're doing that. Yeah, I'm doing. So much, what the fuck? Definitely need a new engine after this copper. Oh shit, we cannot see here, but this team's safe. It's not too late to finish one more run. What we 
für den Shopping Cost. Getting into the fifth gear is also hurting. <laughs> Zack. Oh no, I almost beat Scrappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I get into that fifth gear, but then I intentionally lose it before the uphill ride. Like, so this is gear manipulation of doom. Yeah, the, the thing is, I get this fifth gear in the chicane when I'm still steering. And if I don't steer there, then I would have airtime and jump. And maybe not get the gear at all. Yeah, like, I try to go straight there and then, uh, yeah. Get the gear by that. Also, well, holy moly, like, it's really interesting gears on this one. Like, it's been a long time since I uh, saw a track of the day where the gears were that uncalculated, to be honest. It's crazy. <laughs> but this sort of also makes it more interesting than like a giga normal plastic map. At least the map makes at least it makes the map a bit harder, I guess. <laughs> but I saw Alexander's on my qualification server saying this map is boring. So no. Maybe the good players find it bad and the not so good players find it boring. I have no idea. Do the challenge while waiting? Actually true. Let's beat the Alexander. It should not be hard, by the way. Just try to remember which players have played for Duno in all the seasons and which players for my old team's crews. And who was the Nock in Osomniac? Yeah, what's my that? You tried to remember or what? Yeah, there is a project going on. I got asked uh, in which teams I've been playing. Oh. Like I already listed um, all the stadium teams that I couldn't even have named myself. <laughs> <laughs> but the main teams for me were, of course, the first ones in United. Uh, this one he missed. Um, and then I said, okay, if you don't know about these teams, you might have players in your list where you also search for data uh, that were also in those teams, and you don't have these teams now listed at these players' yeah. information. So, on. so now I'm trying to figure out who the heck was in Duno. Like, we had so many. Actually, we had... Uh, in, in one edition, I searched so many players for, for Duno teams, like they had then four or five teams actually, um, that people like Ray Suns even played for Duno, <laughs> but that doesn't count then in the end because it was just one cup, so I, I wrote him that <laughs> doesn't count then as Duno player Ray Suns. But we had uh, some really interesting names. SRK, for example, was also playing for Duno. What, SRK? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bought not interesting. I mean, I will not go too far now. I'm just searching for my teams. What I told him that. No, oh, I told him that Pack, for example, no, he oh. comes of course from the old games from Canyon especially. He yeah, of Canyon course had also. Awesome. He had also multiple teams and he was then also in my team in Osomniak for quite a while. Where there was also Riolu and then Riolu and myself were also in Euronix. Yeah, um, that I don't know as well. I don't know, however, if, also, if he knew about Pack with Osomniak, but the teams that Pack was uh, in before, he probably won't have that, like all the Canyon stuff. The thing is, you really barely get... Um, I mean, to these websites, like it do not yeah. really exist anymore from the ET leaks. That you could check that out. Ah, uh, the gear in the sword, pain.
Yeah, this one will be fun in round two. I think I would but still was... remember all of my main teams that I was in. Also I was surprised that he knew English. about the t uh, that he knew about the team NOG, New Old Generation, because of Klofni. He knew about it already. But I was quite surprised. This was like a team in the very beginning of Kenyon that I created. It's not like the typical team how you would think about it today. No? It was just there were, was the first competition in Kenyon, and I searched some good United players, and we made a team together like Klofni, Blackhead, Vincent, like 2100. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then of course Prankstar and myself. Yeah. And uh, he knew about that team actually. It was interesting. Hmm. Uh, also, Flying Stickman, that vlog is probably not gonna come out because there is no point. Like, we wanted to do a vlog about the World Cup, but then, uh, yeah, I mean, we went there, Massa played one match. Then he was out, the whole vibe was mud because the organization there was Giga Yek and stuff. So there is no, like we could have done a 5 minute vlog at most. There was just not enough happening for a vlog. After Massa went out we also didn't really record anything because we were just like, you are fantastic. What a Yek World Cup. So... There is not gonna be one. What was your first team competition in United? Was it then very late the one with Mac, or did you do something in the early days when it was still ET Leagues? Uh, not with BP Leagues, but I remember I did some clan boys with my first clan. Like, do you, do, do you remember the clan BP? That was my first team, BP it was called. Okay, no, I'm not sure. I remember some players from it. Like, the, the, the leader was called Energizer. Then there was a guy called Torpedo, mm. Uga was there, like UU, GG, AA. Other than that, I don't remember to be honest. I remember we did, did they a clan ever participate war. in a United League or I have something? No idea. I mean, I was, I was 12 years old at that point. Yeah. Like, no, BP, like British, British Power, BP. It was not called, like, I don't know, it, it didn't stand for British Power. I don't know what it stand for actually. But like BP, not VP. But when I was in that team, I was like, 10, 11, 12. But I remember at the first tournament, that, that, that was probably also the very first Ukraine tournament that I ever played. And I remember I was good there. I just remember there was a bay track which I was good at. That's literally all I remember. And the next tournaments I only played, I played one season of um, ESL or TMT with THE. Like stadium tournament when I was like... I don't know, 14 or something, but then I did, back then I played stadium with keyboard and I didn't really enjoy it <laughs> because of keyboard. So I only played like one season in like Diff 3 or something in Giga Yak. And then uh, the next real tournaments that I played was actually when you also know me, like later in Checkmania United with then Mac. Like the. Uh, it was, of URL. course, a big uh, break with no real competitions in United. Yeah. Like when before 2018-19 around, you know, I would need to go back to 2013-12. So big distance there. Yeah, yeah. But I never really played a lot of tournaments. Like I really only started with tournaments when I was like already pretty good at the game. Not really before. And really active, I only got in competitions with Stadium then. With OGL. What in the gear, man? I remember the first French Cups on the weekend that we played together in Team 2 Stadium. <laughs> yeah, I remember it as well. Also, Shitfest and stuff like that. Back then, you struggled a lot with no slides and tech turns. Yeah, but back then, I also had 270 degree steering range. Now I have 120. <laughs> I went more than 50% down. My tech was my absolute nemesis back in the days, like holy moly. I mean, nowadays I'm fast on tech, I'm good. Ain't no way spammy the survivor. Do, 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 do. Nah, nah, but Phil, you're not as bad as back in the days, like trust. Back <laughs> in the days, Nyko on tech as a holy jeepers. I was always good on dirt, like I never had issues with that. Like I never even learned dirt, like I just played it and it was just easy, I don't know. But like tech, I really needed some time to get good at. I'm still not an insane remember. tech player, of course, but 
Ja, bei Nauts fein. Remember in those Team to Stadium French Cups, uh, the guy that won the last round here in this Cup of the Day was also doing his first steps in competitive there, Elcon. I remember yeah. his name in Team Actually, to Stadium. Yeah, my first TM2 tournament, I remember uh, where you managed to, like, the, the, the first place was, um, I think, a TM2 Stadium key, which was completely useless because you needed TM2 Stadium to even participate. <laughs> Uh, I remember I played against Elcon there. That was also Elcon's first tournament. Kinda. Like one of them. But it's also yeah, like Binks, for example. Level. Binks also started there. Oh, Binks, I don't remember the name there. But I remember Binks mighty. had a fully white name. Now Spammy is out. Reap Spammy. But the gears are really XTD, eh? The holy moly, eh? Well, it will be hard to defend our win here, guys. In theory, I have to search those, go back into the VLCs, like, it's, it's so funny, like, Elkhorn was just a backmarker in some of these couples, just playing, was far behind, like, you wouldn't recognize him, but, yeah, there you see how, how people improve, how massively, like, that went very quick for him to improve. Yeah. My, what the fuck? How is Elkon so fast? Happy. How do you even do Rip 71? Birdie. Oh, yeah. Birdie, my man. Let's go. The gear killed Scrappy, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't get it. I have no idea how to do 0.7 here, to be honest. Like, I cannot improve. Was I also very far behind in the splits in the beginning? I didn't really pay attention. Point one, point one, point one. I didn't really lose Did much more for the them. ending. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. But yeah, for me it's getting tight now. <laughs> Not consistent with the gears. Yeah. Plastic on wheel looks so hard, I have no idea how you do it. It's not really hard. Like the, it's only the only hard thing is when um when you wanna cancel your steering, like basically not steer for a second, in order to get the gear shift right. That's kinda hard with wheel, at least for me. Like here going fully straight because I very often steer like, I don't know, a few percentages. And since plastic is way more slidey than dirt, for example, it's harder here on plastic than it would be on dirt. Or on grass also. Other than that? I mean, it's very chill to drive, like I just smooth steer, like look at my inputs. Not much you have to do here. I have no idea how to do 0.7. Don't get it. Well, I'm doing 0.7. Yeah, not the one. I'm also doing 0 0.7, 0 0.17. Mm. And Headless Daniel with the 46 month Risa. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Game point one on the last checkpoint to finish. That's crazy. I mean, maybe there, maybe you can get the fifth gear there early. I have no idea. Here, I'm getting, losing point one already in this sword. Actually, nah, might be inflated. Actually, I'm first. Okay, no, no. I'm always in red here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the gear.
Holy moly. Oh, down. down barely in. What an awkward map. Did you drop to third gear because I said all the yeah, gear? Yeah. I, was, uh, I only dropped to third because I didn't drop to fourth before. So I went straight from fifth to third. And that's also how it felt like. Yeah, yeah. and then it wants to go up to fourth in the right turn. Which mm -hmm. can even make you lose more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like the gear is, is jeepers. I mean, I said it multiple times already. I don't want to say it all the time, but holy jeepers. Not on red. Wow. Early gear change. Wow. But yeah, this was also confusing to me, how I ended up in the third gear, that it basically went from fifth to there. <laughs> yeah. The was playing. Yeah, I don't know. No, Nico! What kind of Nico is that? Wait, they're both. There's also an Nico. Not a Nico, Nico. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, but who's Nico. the one with C and Dop but those, double Those were the, yeah, the Evo Nico. Nico. The, uh, yeah. These were also in uh, yesterday. We had it yesterday as well. There was also Nico, Nico with K and Nico with C. <laughs> Ach ja, and the random weekly room that I played afterwards, my only and main opponent was Nico. Oh. As like a Nico. Yeah. The, the one with A Y. <laughs> but I sniped him a finalist and then he rage quitted. I think I always took the last quarter pipe too low. I think you actually want to go quite high. Like really high so that you have like no air time. <laughs> do, do, do. Then you also get the fifth gear before the very last drop. <clears throat> yeah, no, Elkan was not born three years ago. Not in 2021. He was born in 1921. The oldest trick meter player. Oh, Giga old scum, guys. Johnny Cash with Ring of Fire. I know that name. Yeah, I have no idea, man. I cannot drive this map consistently fast. It's just sick. <laughs> what about Dexter? Uh, 17, no, 1771? Yeah, I don't know, actually. Maybe also 771 before Christ. So my man is close to 3k years old. This ending, man, is, is, is I don't get it. Scruffy born in 98, that is correct. Marius born in 89. When there's a number, it's 100% confirmed the day you were born at. I like the, the year.
Oh my god, I was lucky. I didn't drop the fifth gear, but I still got a good gear change. This is gears. Ah! Bro, every single time I don't get the gear change right, it feels like somebody is kicking me in the balls. That kind of level of <laughs> unsatisfying. So each round, you have to imagine somebody. I'm getting kicked into the balls twice. And this is so unsatisfying to drive. Mario's third orange in a row? I think actually yes. Nah, unsatisfying, Victor Ogawa. <sighs> I mean, if you enjoy that, then maybe your map. It's it, uh, how? How do you do point six? Rip Marius. Rip trophies. It's the ninth place. I mean, I don't even know how I survived so long. <laughs> Last checkpoint, I was six? equal on the thousand with the uh, red position. I was literally equal, and I risked the finish, but somehow lost seven hundred. No. I have literally no clue how to even do like point seven. I can't even get a sub anymore. How do you do a point six? Low. Yeah, I. Uh, this was now the one round where I didn't get the start gear. I was in two tenths behind. <laughs> Otherwise, without that, I would have PB'd. But yeah. No. I had done a pretty good second half overall. <sighs> yeah, I don't need to say that Elkon gets the start, of course, super well. If I lose like okay, I can run. No, I saw him crashing there. I saw him crashing what here. He doing He's here? not crashing. What the fuck? <laughs> like such a boring map, but you watch Alcon and <laughs> How did he gain like how how did I just lose point three? Like I don't get it. Yeah, only spectator too, but I can tell you that he was super tight, like don't want to do these lights. <laughs> Like, hey, oh, point, uh, hey? <laughs> Where did I, like, I lost it in one turn. <laughs> they are the gear change into fifth, and how he enters that left turn. He was full right, and there is an edge sticking out. Like, just before that edge, he got to the left of it. Mm. And then he was also super inside, and that right uphill in the end, we almost touched the inside pole. He, he was touching in the left turn with the fifth gear, also the checkpoint almost. Like, there were three things after each other. Yeah, I was sure he will die. <laughs> so you mean <laughs> he will no, crash exactly. and I can just continue like this and I can win? I mean, I am surprised that he survived so long, but maybe I just watched that one round. Oh, he doesn't really seem to have any bombs. I don't know, I'm driving the same times all the time, I cannot go faster. I'm driving point zero point one, no problem, but no idea how to go faster. <laughs> Pedro, guys! Pedro in the freaking chat. He only needs one bad round, exactly, and then I can definitely win. So let's just chill. And if he wins, if he doesn't crash and he makes every lap, then he deserves to win. There's no point in trying to suddenly risk now and get 0.5 faster on the map. How far right is he going here? Like, is he going for no airtime? On the left into the right? Yeah. Check the ending first. Super tight. Oh my god. Oh, that was a close round. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> so yeah, right so he's yeah, going he mega well. mega tight into the right turn. I saw him once, however. Like the upper right turn. Once air breaking. I think I saw him once slightly air breaking or breaking generally the entry. I'm gonna check. Alex had a very wild line through this first corner. Sounds good. I feel like I'm losing it all here, kinda. Oh no. Oh, I almost dropped to third. That was so close. Like here I always lose a lot. I don't know why. Aircon is slow. Oh, he's in. Oh, lucky for him. That could have been the route. Okay, now he was lucky. Now he will win. Now it's GG. Goes higher in the apple and lower in the downhill. What? Higher in the apple, lower in the downhill? Although in the left turn, he's going inside and takes grip a little bit from this ring. But it, ma yeah. it makes it, yeah, it makes it uh, tough with the checkpoint afterwards. And he goes also super, yeah. super inside into the right uphill. I mean, that I try as well. I guess he just gets it like really nice all the time. Mm. Oh, that will be difficult now because I had a really bad start. Yeah, you're very close to down. In four tracks. Still close. Oh, you got a better landing. I don't know why though. I like got you the were gear. literally I had to fish yeah, you gear were inside already. each other, same line, same speed, but at that landing you uh, mm. went away, he did not. Like I guess that, that it was the same for me because I was also equal in the last CP and then it was seven hundreds and Rotex was also seven. That's yeah, because I had behind. fifth gear already and he didn't. He got it when he landed kinda. Bro Mapper You're still close. Yeah, but I'm losing point one for nothing. So when is that round coming up where Elcon is crashing? Go down is where we outside. We pass him. No, nice. So. Good luck. GG Elcon. If he crashes now, it's actually rigged. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. <laughs> you got some final wins lately that by that. <laughs> yeah. But this one is really unlikely to win. Like, he needs to crash. If he just does it all around, mud. At least I got the gear in the start. Close, he doesn't have the perfect lap. Not enough. Oh, but I PB'd. I PB'd though. Okay, I had a chance. I had a chance. I did PB. I, I tried my best. Like, no chance though. I mean, I, yeah, chance, but I couldn't have done much better. Ah, uh, yeah, I was deserved win for him. Damn it, he didn't crash a single time. That's crazy. That is crazy. But I almost beat him. I did PB. Kacke, ey. Man, 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 man. Yeah, he had a very bad transition into fifth gear. He lost like a tenth on that straight into the turn. Yeah. yeah, true. And then you could really see the differences in your lines. Like sometimes he was shooting away, then you suddenly were faster again. A very different line in the last right turn as well. Uh, like he goes early down. Yeah. And uh, oversteers in a bit later, and then is very early, however, into a uh, 
like speed slide angle and you did yeah. a little bit different but yeah, yeah. turns out in pretty equal <laughs> okay yeah i tried guys i tried i tried i tried okay that's what for record and then uh, we continue with the action mini rpg of the week right yeah guys do we play mini rpg of the week or kaki i'm not sure i definitely want to play survivor cup later but mini rpg of the week i'm not sure Okay, I guess I play mini RPG. <laughs> yeah, here the full grip and the inside. Yeah, okay. He just went giga inside on this upper right. Ah, okay, guys, we play mini RPG. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> ah, hmm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know.